Hello everyone, I'm going to show my update, my progress for uh, last month. I did two big things last month. It's um, some work with the driver of the USB drive, so uh, you can see it here, and um, ability to control external devices. As a demo, I put here um, forklift. Let me go to demonstration. So we can open the laptop and we can now mount the USB device. So we need to do it like this. The root mount. And we can uh, get in the mount directory. So there is nothing here. So let's uh, make the file and let's call it forklift.cpp forklift.cpp Right now we can control it uh, using the var hpp so it's uh, like a little library I, I can probably show uh, how it looks like but let's first uh, go for demo main dot and uh, let's have variable which we would call move and let's it's gonna be type of var and now we can do in finite loop and we can say move equals minus 10 minus 10 it means move down with the speed 10 centimeters per second and there is another thing what it's good to do call yield uh, let's do this thread yield and uh, that's it uh, one more thing we need to do is um, include thread. Okay. So let me just look how it looks like. Looks good for my taste. So now let's compile. We just use another G plus plus compiler. But we need to uh, statically link C++ library and libc library. To do this thing, we need to add two switches. Uh, static libstat C++ and static. And then file name is forklift.cpp. So hopefully it would compile. So now my expectations are so let's close the laptop. Then I click on uh, forklift. The uh, forklift should go down. So probably should be closer to it. Yeah. Now it goes down. And it goes down with the speed 10 centimeters per second. So which is, uh, this is the one meter. So it's like uh, about 10 seconds to go down. Which uh, looks right. Uh, let's change the stuff just to show this is uh, all real things uh, mount then I close and open laptop it resets the file system and everything on it except the data in the USB drive 9p slash dev slash root slash mount CD mount and uh, forklift. So we have this file. So let's me change it and make it to go up now. So let's delete this minus here and uh, compile. So even history, so there is no history, unfortunately. History is empty. It's not empty actually because I I, I was mounting it uh, on my host machine anyways, but like uh, there is no history of uh, G++ command, so I have to retype it. Static leaps that C++ static forklift. Okay, let's close the laptop and uh, now uh, this forklift should go up. Here we go, it goes up. So let's ha have fun and let's uh, make this thing to go up and down. Like a third example, 
just to show you exactly how things are here how things are working here so yeah so everything is set again so history so it's um it's a little bit different history for some reason Ah no, it's the same anyways um mount so there is no mount so i have to retype everything dash p slash dev slash root slash mount uh mount vi forklift oh wait a second what's going on oh okay mount so we have files forklift so let's have some fun and um, so let's first put minus here so second um, let's delete this thing so let's add a bunch of uh, spaces and reopen this file okay. so using namespace stead chrono literals then uh, let's do stead this thread sleep for 20 seconds for fork to go all the way it's gonna take 20 seconds and move equal 10 so it's it goes down for 20 seconds then it's gonna go up and we will add this thread sleep for 20 seconds just to be sure uh, I'm going to restart VI so I would know exactly how many lines I need to delete here okay now let's compile static uh, libstead c++ static forklift so my expectation it's going to go down then up and down and up and it's gonna be in the loop close laptop and click on the forklift and look at this it goes down this is my update for last month of the work and uh, thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time bye